What's going on, you guys? So last night I was kind of going through my tweets on Twitter and I discovered something that was kind of interesting. So Touch Arcade posts, I believe it was like every Thursday, a list of all the new apps that are coming out on the App Store. And one thing that popped up that caught my eye, if you look on the second line, it says the political machine 2020. That caught my eye. So the reason why it caught my eye is because it's a desktop game. We actually talked about it on the Single Mold Strategy podcast. And and I wanted to kind of take a look at it. So here it is. It's 99 cents. All right. So Political Machine 2020 features unique ideology trees for candidates, allows allowing for unique experiences. Each and every playthrough earn ideology points from town halls, use them to own certain issues, play as Bernie Sanders and take ownership of Medicare for all issue or play as Donald Trump to build to own build the wall. It's important to win 270 votes in the electoral college. So you'll need to pay attention to what issue voters care about in the swing states. What plays well in Texas or California might hurt you in Ohio and Florida. So this is the game right here. Now, if this is for 99 cents, that, this is incredible because if you can see on, on Steam here, it's $15. So I'm curious to see if this is the entire game. And if it is the entire game, that's pretty killer right there. To get a game that's normally $15 to play it on the go, which is a huge pro in, in my book, for 99 cents. I know Apple has this thing where if you buy the version on the iPhone, you also get the iPad version so for free. So that's what it looks like on both platforms. So let's just take a look at it. Whoop. There we go. I'm just curious to see if there's anything like missing, if there's any features that they took out because 99 cents sounds like a great deal, honestly. I mean, it looks like the desktop game, to be honest. All right, core features, spread your ideo uh, ideology, participate in town halls, generate enthusiasm, participate in interviews, choose your candidate, manage your campaign budget, create a candidate, practice your politics, and be ready for anything. And it looks like it got some good reviews. They're all four stars. Okay, so overall good game. Just wish I could manually control where the candidate moves. So you can't do that. And give speeches like in the PC version. Also, I encounter a glitch that will flip the California to 133% Republican, which, uh, you know, I think California is a blue state. I mean, four stars, that's pretty good. It looks like the only thing you're missing is that you can't move the candidates, but I'm thinking about doing a first impression to see what this game is all about. I, I'm just a little hesitant because the current political environment is just so divisive. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's very divisive. So I don't want to like, yeah, it, it's very divisive. So I, I might not, I might, I'll have to think about it, but all right. So kind of comparing that to this. I mean, they look the same. Choose your candidates, participate in interviews, manage your campaign budget, create a candidate, practice your politics. I didn't see that where you use census data and real issues to test your political savvy. I don't think that's on here, right? <laughs> and toward affairs. <laughs> that's going to be cool. All right. Yeah, I don't see that part so i mean it looks like there's a few things missing out but again it's 99 cents that's like a really incredible deal that's i mean what that's over 90 percent off right so it's that's that's in my book really a good deal all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed this i'm gonna think about doing the first impressions and i'll catch you in the next one